So I've just arrived at Jane's guest house in Chateau and I immediately was welcomed to the fire where it's warm and this is some um, Tibetan tea and I'm going to try it and I'll show you in a few moments how he makes this. And this is a kind of bread um, there it's in the cold form and she puts it right on this little brazier um, implement if you will it holds it right over the coals and bakes it. I better pick up mine before it burns my leg. So this bread, this um, um, tea is made out of yak milk plus it looks like a butter and it may be from yak also. Shishini. And it has a nice salty, um, milky, sweet taste. So he makes it. He just poured some out of something out of there, and now he works it in that a piece of bamboo. It's like a butter churner, and I think that's what makes it smooth and foamy. But it comes from there apparently, and she pours that into this uh, pot, which also sits next to the. And when he's done working it, then he pours it back into that bowl. And then, oh, pours, oh, he'll make, um... Okay, 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 good. Then does that. <laughs> now everything's getting real hot, so I'm going to turn this off. This is a rice bread. Okay, this is Jane's guest house on the right. And, uh... I will leave here now. It's 11 o'clock. I'm dead on schedule that I hoped for. I'm actually, maybe an hour ahead of what my outside limit for starting was. And I believe this is the direction we go. <laughs> School just slightly down the hill and towards the, the uh, southeast where I'm going. And all you have to do is signal and ask anybody in by sign language if you're going the right way they see your pack they know you're a foreigner they yep yep you're going the right way so we go down here about two and a half kilometers until we hit sunrise guest house and at that point the trail is marked with an arrow and you start up the, the uh, rugged 28 switchback start paralleling the river and notice as I pan up through the wires that the trees are starting to turn color. There's some kind of orange and dark reds and some yellows. Uh, maybe cottonwood types and up beyond there, uh, the peaks of some of the mountains. My impression through the fog and the steamy windows on the drive over here from Lijian, very much like Jackson uh, Mountains, crispiness, very cold in the early morning. That's a rugged river. Here it looks like just a regular Brahma cow as opposed to a, uh, an oxen doing the plowing. And somewhere nearby must be Sunrise Guest House, but this sign is extremely adequate. I saw four younger European men on the way up here. So it's two and a half kilometers up this road after the arrow. This lady ahead of me took a trail to the right up through the, the brush and trees. I was pretty sure she was taking a shortcut, but she only came out about that far ahead of me, so branched off again, but this time I think she's probably going to work. The road down there, so I'm continually climbing a little bit higher and higher. Parishes have a different character. Hopefully I'll see more of them in this area and onward. I appreciate it when anyone puts up more definitive signs to check the guidebook, but this also looks like a school and to my right's a basketball court, so I don't know. Absolutely gorgeous fall day. Couldn't ask for superior weather except photographically. The clouds were somewhat dotted with, skies were somewhat dotted with clouds. Can't be greedy. Wow, does that remind you of the Rockies or what?
And here two rivers join. Presumably since we're on this side, uh, the mountain range we're going to is going to be back here to our left. No signs, but some writing on this wall, some arrows going that way and up, and that way, that way. Something that seems to say 5 S P T T O N A something or First butterfly of the hike, but he's or she's not doing anything for me. My guess is that we're approaching the entry to the gorge. With a scene like this, how would you know you're not in Italy or Switzerland or elsewhere in Europe? Look at this man hand hauling down this dead stalks of corn. Don't know if this is sunrise or not, just signs welcoming, but you don't know because it's nothing saying so. Maybe proven wrong, the road is doubling back at this point, going up over the top of Chateau, I think, but maybe it'll double over to the right to that other area or gorge. <laughs> this is a typical hot water system everywhere in China, even in Beijing, although higher end places may have their own water heaters, but the solar heater on the left and the uh, storage tank on the right. Okay, it took me an hour and a half to get here. It's 12.30. This is the first of the switchbacks, I think. I took a wrong turn because I failed to walk around the, a corner and see the sign for sunrise. I just assumed that it was a shop selling stuff, even though a nice message. I don't think we've hit the second switchback yet. But up there, somewhere, is where the trail must go, I guess. It's approaching a village. A spectacular place to live. Don't see much happening here with the farming right now, so I don't know what work they do. Probably traipse down the mountain to some factory of some sort or other. Noxie's guest house uh, is just behind me on the far side of the hill. I mean, far side of that town that I spotted. In other words, the up trail, upside trail. Look closely in the lower left part of the camera of the vision. If you look closely in the lower left corner of the frame, you should be able to see what I think is probably going to be the trail uh, going from lower left to upper right and around that ridge. It was those um, terraces that I hiked through. And then to the uh, right. <clears throat> Along that trail. Got some water from that lady down there. And we're rolling. I wonder if that's hydroelectric down there. Looks like a runoff, but it may not be just a scar of a runoff. Spectacular, spectacular country. Who knows where the trail goes from here? <clears throat> Probably doubles back somewhere up in that area there. Probably about three quarters of an inch max.